Hey everybody, welcome to my Spider-Man No Way Home review. Make sure to support this all the way. If you haven't seen this um, film, you should. You, know, just, you, you will be spoiled here. And this film went to Esther Mile to show us who Peter is in the MCU. It shows us the sides of him with Demon. Like, with Demon knew he had and all that. And it's like so exciting with him. We see him tell so much about MJ and Ned. And, his aunt and Happy Hulk and all his aunts and all his aunts and that brought Peter into the to where he is now it, it made so much sense it made him but it, they made they made him to a real character here that made him feel like there's something within him like the way that he wanted to be in a, it starts off with like Mysterio like um revealing Peter's a dandy and just made things so much fun. Even and that's like the main code of um, story, whether or not you know, Britain back um, won or lost or died or not. Either way, his daddy will have been released, and and that's what the thing is that he has to deal with the pressure of the whole world knowing he's Spider-Man and all things. And Peter's life turned to uh, to play 180 and. Like, that still things he never felt before and he wants to like have the normal life he wants to be in MIT with um, MJ and Ned and things didn't go that way because of Spider-Man's identity being released and everything and then the way the film is when the way the film was shot was like so interesting they used like they went like they did things for the extreme too and also it was a lot of fun seeing him, like, him like wanted to like, find a way to like reverse all that so he decides to visit Doctor Strange every Doctor Strange in the film was I feel like it made sense it made they only had like Wanda for a bit but because like, you know, he mentioned that because uh, Doctor Strange was flipped and um, Wanda is like the Sorcerer Supreme in a way so well he's like the guy in charge but he's like and really there so it's like Steven and he has the eye of a model thing but obviously the time stone isn't on him but it doesn't exist anymore basically he wants to like create he made like a spell to make this girl like run and Peter made the spell go run because he wants like MJ to know and Ned to know yeah. and it made and happy knowing all his things and like cause a lot of commotion with the spell and then which made the um, every most villains from Spamming like um, it was like, face him but, like dark out facing him and then uh, I'd bring Coplin and I seen and also seen seen Sandman was a lot of fun too even though he was like in his sand form you know <laughs> then Electro being there and him like um being that like, blow up and also him not being blue that was interesting and in some way and then having Connors there and like, being the lizard was so fun and having like, the green goblin like into the way he tried him um, Spider-Man was insane though the, there was uh, the interaction they had with each other he just wanted to create a lot of crazy things and a lot of crazy stuff yeah, has went down and everything and it just really worked well the villains here like they kind of remind me of Loki, you know what I mean? That if you watch the Loki show, you, like, you would like, you would know that like, in 2012 he went to another timeline, you know what I mean? Not timeline, but he went um, outside of his timeline and he, in a way, but we know Loki, right? just we've seen him in the MCU, so we know how he is, we, have, we know how he is, but like, in the Loki show we see a different side to him, but in a way that's familiar, and that's what I felt like with each of the Spider-Man villains here, so it's like we tell a bit more of them, but we like we know them. We know how they are. We know what's up with them because we seen them before. We have seen them, but in a way, we it's like they're not. They don't change, but they um, um they are their characteristics are the same in a way. Is what I'm saying, and they every time they appear, that they appear in this um, world because it's after they die, you know what I mean? 
except Sam and Sam doesn't die in the Wimmy trilogy, so I don't know why it's on Doctor Strange says that they all die by Spider-Man and when that's not really the case, it's just one way to bring him into the picture. So yeah. Or they done a lot of really brilliant things of this film. They actually made every character every interaction with an interesting except for um, Sandman, and he wants that see his daughter, but then he attacks Peter, and that didn't make sense. I just and then Connors, uh, uh, I was weird too. So overall, that was I mean interesting in that way. Doctor Strange contained the spell and put it inside a box, and when he presses he says when if he presses the uh, button on the box, the uh, spell will. Um, reverse itself and the will be gone and Peter didn't like that and so he tries to fight um not fight but basically I take the bots away and then Doctor Strange like fight I tries to um get the bots in the mirror to match and everything and I admit that the visual is so fascinating and so mesmerizing I just really love seeing that and uh, we see so you know, have to find the fact that he Peter used math to trap Dr. Strange in the Grand Canyon, so that was uh, really interesting in that way. So, overall, it, it was fun. And not much has happened in this movie. Oh, yeah, one little thing Andrew and Toby are in the film. <laughs> Seeing those two characters was, was like the highlight, the theater was like stupid. <laughs> that was so much fun. That was like, like in Toby, I was like, <laughs> like, that was a lot of fun. I was like, was that so much assignment? I said, we knew it, we knew it. Surely was in the film too with that, um, that, uh, Matt Murdock. <laughs> he was in the film too for a bit. I was like, oh my gosh. And then you guys watched that hard guy, you guys saw that, you know, um, you, were, you know what's up, you know, you saw episode 5, but. That's insane, you know. It's such insane that, that that's happened. We see that, or you say this happens, that it's even on that and the Santa. Same Mad Murdock kind of is in a way. So that like, that's insane. Just that like, it's like made a film so we've already seen all three of them, like <laughs> like the all that, and then which was the real thing is that they made a new statue of liberty having. Like the statue will be whole shield and I don't know that's that's really weird but overall they fought and all of them fought in there and then it's like seeing all of them interact with each other and having that uh, like being like nervous just uh, he talks to the other guys about you know having a best friend and they told um, they died being spamming villain and so he <laughs> so was like all nervous and awkward <laughs> that was so much fun and then and then like Andrew saving MJ was the highlight of it. Yes, yes, yes. Redemption at its finest and also seeing like all Peter like 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 losing Aunt May does that so much that was the great power of, of great power comes great responsibility line and just and um that was so good, that was emotional and that was that like, insane and the fact that that the Green Goblin really did that and Peter right we seen we see Peter's vulnerable side and just like, really go ahead with the Green Goblin and then he would want to like, do that or, like which reminded me of John Walker in Falco from Social like oh my goodness. And then like, Toby said he said Spiderman he said Chris Tomlin like tells him he's basically that no then Toby did stab at oh my gosh, that was like insane. I'm surprised he didn't die, but if he did, oh man. That they made us like, like even in the future writing about this film, like, I still will feel the same way, but even more excitement. I'm uh, watching with a friend later next, next, um, next week, so like that's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, so. I never thought I would say this, but I would do this movie on 9 out of 10, you know, so, yeah, 
9 out of 10 stars. Look at me does the sad man, I went with a little sad man, and with a little like this and that, and then every not. That was it. Oh. Dan, Peter lost and made Danny that shot. Oh my goodness. Peter talked to um, Jay Jimison about, um, you know, the, by his past or anything. And then the, in the ending where all this probably sad, where nobody knows Peter's Batman, that it's the same that he wants, he doesn't want MJ to know anymore, and so he like moves on, moves on with his life, and then he wears his new suit and made suit, and then all sparkly <laughs> and swinging, and then he swings by the ice chain wing, you know what I mean? And you saw the promo of Hawkeye, you know, that. That's where it all ties to be in episode 6, so. And then we really saw that. In the beginning of the film, we saw the bit of a hard drive reference. We saw that ads of uh, Rogers the musical, so. We really saw that, but yeah, overall. Love the film, love the, this film. That's the Spider Man film. It was amazing. It was like shaving on. Man. This is gonna be fun. I've never thought I've ever loved a Spider-Man film this much. I feel like this was actually my favorite. We see Peter's like vulnerable side. We saw that mad and angry and rage. I never thought I would see the day of Peter Parker's punching the villain. Like, and that was a spoiler too, you know, so. <sighs> okay, the post credit scene, we have that Venom like, being there, then he doesn't he know who Peter Parker is, so it made sense for him not to interact with Peter. But then there's that group of Venom goo there that he left, so some reason not be um, Venom one day. Maybe Flash Thompson, maybe another version of Eddie Brock or someone else on us. And then we're going to, and then we saw like a promo for Doctor Strange 2 and then seen, like, seen one dog, then that'll be a lot of fun. And then see if we saw like a, um, America Chavez in the next two. Um, Stephen Strange and then that's a what if thing. So you watch what if you see that who the villain is on oh, man. Dr. Strange 2 is a bit fun so overall that was uh, fun stuff there. Thank you so much for watching my spoiler review of uh, Spider Man No Way Home. Hopefully all of you enjoyed the film just as much as me. <laughs> Alright, have a wonderful Christmas. I'll see all of you. Soon with Hawkeye episode 6. Bye!